Hello. Today I'm going to do story time about the time me and my husband almost drowned in our car. So if you want to hear this story time, please stay tuned. Um, this is kind of a funny story. Um, my husband just got his back time and we decided to go out um, and kind of celebrate getting the back time check and getting me some new clothes because um, by this time, I'd lived with him for, I want to say, two years. Yeah, I think if we'd been living together for two years, and two years of eating his food had done kind of, I've done kind of outgrown all my clothing, because he was the kind of cook that would not take no for an answer when he cooked something. Um, so I kind of outgrew all my clothes. <coughs> but anyway, we decided we was going to go and get me some clothes and kind of just make a day of it. So we had to get someone to come and stay with his mom where we could go. And then after that we went to like, uh, like the big city. Um, not our local little town, but like two towns over because that's where the big woman's clothing store was. Um, and being, both of us being poor folks our whole life, uh, seeing like all the money that he did get for his back time as like being rich for a day, um, which it wasn't, um, but we went and he got a CB radio for himself and he also got an attachment that made it where his, his power would boost up high enough to blast someone else out off of the radio because even back then there used to be trolls um, that were on the CB radio and he had one in particular troll that would get on there every time he was on the radio and do the same thing to him and blast it out where no one could hear him. So he went and got um, a radio. Oh, that was scary. He went and got a radio where it was so powerful no one could blast it out. Um, so he could talk over this troll um, guy and he spent like two thousand dollars for this setup just for that purpose um, me myself I don't think I would have spent that much money but it was his money that's what he wanted to do so we went and got that um, then we went and got my clothes um, at, we didn't go to the store we thought we was going to go. Well, we went there, but we didn't buy nothing there. We went to Catherine's and we picked up, I think it was a pair of underwear, one pair of 5X, I think it was 5X underwear, was $50. And when we saw underwear was fifty dollars, was like, not the store for us. Bye bye, and we were out the door. Um, then we went to just my size, where we found a few things that were in price range and my size. So we got me a few things there. Um, we went to um, I think CC's Pizza and ate. And then we were headed back 
um, towards home and start pouring down buckets of rain. I mean, absolute buckets of rain. And in this car that we're in, um, it's not held, held together very well. It's like, like a really old car. Um, and known occasion of the hood to come open. Um, when you're going down the road, he had to tie a rope around it where it wouldn't do that because we almost wrecked one time going down the road because the hood came open. <laughs> That's coming down the road. We had to slide off the side and him fix it with a rope uh, that he had in the back seat. Um, both doors would come open, the driver's side and the passenger side. So we had to make sure we were buckled in where we could lean out and grab the door and pull it in and hold it. A lot of the times when you drove in that car, you had to hold the door to make sure it didn't do that. And it had a sunroof, which also was in need of a lot of um, help. And he had it duct taped thinking it wouldn't leak. And <laughs> these buckets of rain started just pouring on our heads because it was leaking. And we decided that um, we were going to be soaking wet. We needed something uh, to keep us dry. So we stop at another clothing store and get rain jackets. And then that that first clothing store, he got a rain jacket, but we couldn't find nothing that would fit me, not even remotely go around me. So we went to another one that's supposed to be a plus size store. We found one that just barely fit me, wouldn't button up, but it would go around. So me and him were s sitting in the car with the rain just pouring down on top of us with these rain jackets with hoods where they wouldn't the wouldn't go all over our face and like drowned us and we would drive all the way home that way until we reached like the town before you get to our town and then the rain just like magically stopped since the rain stopped we decided that we would stop at crystals and get his mom some crystal burgers because that was her mom's like favorite treat so we got the crystal burgers and um, we decided we didn't want to go in the store because we were both soaked so we went through the drive through and the drive through people kind of looked at us weird because we were wearing, wearing these like really soaked uh, looked like we just went d deep sea diving or something. I mean, we were drenched. And the people at the drive-thru just looked at us really weird and had us our burgers. Like, we don't want to mess with you crazy folk. <laughs> and we went, we went on home. But uh, when we got home, we had to change into dry clothing. And his mom's like, what in the world happened to y'all? And we told her, and she's like, y'all gonna have to get a new car since y'all got money. And then he did. He went and bought, the very next day, he went and bought a truck. Uh, a really old truck, but still a truck. And we didn't have to worry about drowning in the car anymore. Um, but I thought that would be some kind of nice little uh, change of tune on here since I have been doing the legendary Fridays and creeping people out. Uh, I thought this one might be a nice little funny tale to kind of lighten the mood on this channel um, because I do want to start doing more light-hearted things. Um, I would love to start doing more Apple to story times again, but in my emotional state, it's kind of hard for me sometimes to do this and remember back and not get 
emotional about it, but today I had a burst of gratefulness or okayness of for about it at this moment I'm okay so I thought it was to be the perfect time to tell the story um, about our old junk car and how we almost drowned in it if you like these stories like this please do give me a like down below and comment down below what um, would you like to hear story times about what kind of part of my life would you want to know about when I was at high school um, my years with Johnny or anything in between just let me know down below what would you like to hear story times about and I will see you all in the next video if you hadn't already click that subscribe button we always have room for a new kitten here and I will see you all in the next video please enjoy your day don't just endure your day be kind to one another I love you all very very much bye bye reflects my pain I'm about to explode